Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can generate a public announcement for a metro train. In India, in some of the cities, metro trains runs and when we are on a metro station or traveling through a metro train, we usually hear the announcements that happens for the next station which is arriving during the travel. So here I have compiled the SSML text for making an announcement for a metro station while we are traveling from New Delhi to Rajiv Chowk which is in Gurgaon. So if you are from India you might have traveled through a metro train and you might have acknowledged that metro train announcement happens in multiple languages means if we are in North India then it gives us the announcement in Hindi as well as in English language. So every line that is part of the announcement is first being spoken in the Hindi language and soon after in the English language as well. So whole announcement has a mix of Hindi English, Hindi English announcements couple of times for all the phrases which appear in the announcement. So I have tried to generate this text by placing the relevant poses using the commas and where I need a longer pose I have used the break tag as shown here with a delay of two seconds and most of the things are being taken care by the commas because we need a little pose after each phrase or uh, part of the announcement and because the announcement happens simultaneously in Hindi and the English language so the suitable voice for such a scenario is of Aditi which is a bilingual voice and it understands both Hindi and English and can speak them as well. So there is no other better match for this use case instead using the female voice of Aditi. So for this scenario we will use a standard engine language Hindi and the female voice of Aditi and Aditi will be automatically able to recognize where it needs to speak in Hindi and where it needs to speak in English. So accordingly it will adjust its synthesization. So let me just show you how the output of this text will sound like. Let's copy this text and go to Amazon Poly dashboard. So here I'm on the text to speech tab and under SSML text box and I'm going to paste the text that we have just copied. And we will select the standard engine language Hindi and in Hindi there is only female voice of Aditi available. So we will click on listen to speech to hear how this text sounds like. Agla station Rajiv Chowk hai. Rajiv Chowk station Darwaze baye aur khulenge. Kripya saavdhani se utre. The next station is Rajiv Chowk. Rajiv Chowk station. The doors will open on the left. Please mind the gap. Kripya darwazo se hatkar khade ho. Please stand clear from the doors. Delhi metro mein safar karne ke liye aapka dhanyavad. Aasha karte hain aapki yatra mangal mai ho. Aur aap hume pune seva ka avsar denge. Dhanyavad. Thank you for traveling using Delhi Metro. We wish you a happy journey and we hope you will give us a chance to serve you again. Thank you. And we can download this file as an MP3 for further processing. So as we heard this announcement is in flat tone means it doesn't have any effect in it because in live announcements we usually have a echo effect that we hear quite often. So in order to add that echo effect to this sound which is available to us in the mp3 format we will use one software called audacity. So I will give you the link for that software and you can download and install that software it's completely free and I will show you how we can add an echo effect to this audio file so that we can use it further. So I have opened this audacity software 
we need to browse the mp3 file that we have just downloaded go to file click on open and here and here we need to browse the file that we have downloaded and it's best practice to name the file relevant to our use case and also add the type of engine and the voice that we have used because it will help us to recognize and regenerate this voice again in future if needed so i will select this file and click on open so in order to add the echo effect to this mp3 file we need to click anywhere on this graphical area as i have done here and press ctrl a to select all the area and then go to effect menu and click on echo and here we need to specify the values for delay time in seconds and decay factor here in seconds so i have tried couple of variations here for the numeric values and i found that these two values makes a pretty much good echo effect for our use case and if we need to have a preview of how the output will sound like we can click on this preview button and we will be able to hear how much the amount of echo has been added to our audio file and accordingly we can adjust based on our use case so for this use case we are going to use the value of 0.1 in delay time and decay factor will be 0.2 and once we click on ok the echo effect will be applied to the whole audio file so i will click ok here and now we need to export this file as the mp3 so in order to do that we click on file menu click on export click on export as mp3 and here we need to save this file it's better to add something like echo here to distinguish it from the previous file and i will choose the quality as insane 320 kilobits per second so rest of the things i will kept on default and click on this save button and click ok here if we want to add some information here for the tagging we can do that otherwise we can simply click on ok here and the file will be exported so if we go back to the folder then we can see that the file now exists here and we can try to play it back to see how the output looks like with an echo effect agla station rajiv chowk hai rajiv chowk station darwaze baaye aur khulenge kripya saavdhani se utre the next station is rajiv chowk rajiv chowk station the doors will open on the left please mind the gap कृपया दरवाजों से हटकर खड़े हो प्लीज स्टैंड क्लियर फ्रॉम द डोर्स दिल्ली मेट्रो में सफर करने के लिए आपका धन्यवाद आशा करते हैं आपकी यात्रा मंगलमय हो और आप हमें पुनः सेवा का अवसर देंगे धन्यवाद थैंक यू फॉर ट्रैवलिंग यूजिंग दिल्ली मेट्रो वी विश यू अप्पी जर्नी एंड वी होप यू विल गिव अस अ चांस टू सर्व यू अगेन थैंक यू so this way by adding the relevant effects to our generated mp3 file we can make it more relevant to our use case so that's all for this video let's move on to the next one thank you